Welcome back to Jersey Matters, I'm Larry Menti. You know, if you've ever thought twice about donating organs, you're going to want to see this next story about a meeting between the family of someone who died and donated their organs and the person who lived because of that choice. Here's Kimberly Kravitz. One heart and two families whose lives have changed forever. New Jersey native Michael Startek died suddenly at age 27, but now his heart lives on but in the chest of another man. Yes, my man, my man. <laughs> this is Deborah, Michael's mother, who has long awaited to hear the sound of her son's heartbeat again. I walked out here and I saw him. We hugged. I listened to my son's heart. I never heard another person in the room and I have, since that day, had such an inner peace. The recipient of Michael's heart and kidney finally got to meet his donor's family just days before the third anniversary of his transplant. It had taken over a year for me to, we had been talking for probably over a year, texting, a few letters through the sharing network. They helped us meet um, just with talking and, and then when we finally agreed to meet in person, um, I was so nervous because a few times I canceled. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I didn't know how I would feel. I didn't know how I would feel when I saw him. But with the gentle care and compassion of the New Jersey Sharing Network, Michael's mom mustered up the courage to meet her new lifeline, Vernell Williams. Because I wasn't sure that I, you know, I could do it because, you know, you know, me and the person, what do I say to them? You know, that, that I struggle with that, you know. How could I thank them? You know, somebody had to die, you know, in order for me to live on. So it was, I'm telling you, it was hard. Currently, there is almost over 114,000 people nationally waiting for an organ um, uh, transplant. In New Jersey alone, there's close to 4,000 people. Each day, an average of 20 people die waiting for an organ transplant. This man was lucky enough to fight that stunning statistic, thanks to Michael, who had the heart to give his heart. Without transplantation, I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be here. But thanks to Deborah and her son. Vernell spent six months in a hospital bed, uncertain what tomorrow would bring, just before he found his miracle. They told me it was going to be a wait because, you know, I had a, a rare blood type and um, I waited for six months. I was on the list, off the list, on the list, off the list. At one point I got too ill and they said that we can't do it. We, we can't give you this transplant. You got to you got to um, get better or you're not going to make it. Vernell met his donor's family at the organization's annual 5K walk, the celebration of life. The entire process of setting up their first meeting was coordinated by the help of the sharing network. Kind, compassionate, understanding. I mean, they were professional, but yet still compassionate to our feelings. They helped us with every, every step of the way. And we knew this was what Michael would want. As they say at the Sharing Network, the donor process begins long before the time of the transplant. The miracle is created once a family agrees to organ and tissue donation. Long before we even find recipients. Because to me, a family that says yes to organ donation uh, gives me hope in humanity. Despite the tragedy that this family is going through, they're making the decision to help a total stranger. We lost a wonderful, wonderful son, but he's not completely gone. And to know his legacy kind of continues because he gave life. And I mean, what's better than life? Total strangers who now consider themselves family. Well, I want you to know that his memory will always live on. I know. I know. You're a good man. You're There's a good man. There's some things that's in the planet that I'm not going to let you know, but you'll see some things coming. 
and I always say to you, Michael picked you, except right. for the fact that you're a Cowboys fan, and he's right. a Giants fan, uh -huh. so I don't know about that part. <laughs> <laughs> Today is somebody else's family member that needs an organ transplant, but tomorrow it could be somebody that you love or know that can need an organ. The New Jersey Sharing Network is responsible for the recovery of organs and tissue throughout the state. And as you can see, they have helped so many families. So if you are interested in becoming a donor or for more information, log on to njsharingnetwork.org. In New Providence, New Jersey, I'm Kimberly Kravitz for Jersey Matters.